All right, I'm going to write a program that will read and write values so you can see how that works. And I'm doing it with a basic empty console app template. The idea is I'm going to be using a stream reader. So I need to first add that. So using system IO. And then I can use the stream reader. I also want to get a number to add from the command line. And we'll take that from args right here. So we'll get to that in a moment. So the first thing I want to do is read the old value. So I'm going to make a static int get value. So this will get the old value. Um, just a basic function right here. And the idea is I, I want to put a try statement right here because it's possible that my file won't exist. In fact, it doesn't exist right now. So I will do a stream reader. I call it reader equals new stream reader. And I am going to call my file value.txt. So it's going to read the old value right here and then pass it back. Um, I need to have the value declared before I try this. So I'll do int value equals zero, just to initialize it as zero. And let's go ahead and return value. Now we want to replace the value assuming things work correctly. So here in the stream reader, I'm reading in the value and I do that with a string line equals my reader read line. Okay. And the line gets read in and I want to parse it. So I do a, uh, int 32 parse and I'm going to parse the line and I want to take that int that I'm reading in and I want to assign it to value. So value gets assigned this new integer and then I want to, I guess that's it. Uh, just close the uh, reader. You can read multiple lines here. You can have a loop or whatever you need to do in order to read all your lines. Just do that. Because I have a try statement, I need to now have a catch statement. So do a catch my exception. And normally you do something to get more information you know, here, but I'm just going to catch the exception and then call it good. So if it does have a problem, it'll just return the value of zero, assuming there's nothing there. All right. So now I'm going to have my value that I'm calculating. So my new, well, my new total is equal to the old value. And the old value, as you recall, is the get value, whatever it gets returned by get value. So I'm going to return that right here get value. Now I want to read in from the command line a new value. So my new value equals a, an int 32 parse of args 0, because args is right here. And we're just going to hope that works. If it doesn't work, then it just crashes. We don't worry about it. All right. So now, after I know these two values, I'm going to add them. So my new total um, equals new total plus new value. I can print out the new value, new value is going to be new total, actually let's say new total, all right, 
So new total equals, well, that's the new total. Now I'm going to write it out. So I need another function up here. So this one up here was my get value. And you can see how we did it with a stream reader. Now I'm going to do a set value. So we static, uh, void, I don't need a return value. Uh, set value. And I'm going to pass it an int value. And what I do here is I need a stream writer. I could do a try statement. I probably should, but I'm not going to stream. So stream writer, writer equals new stream writer. And my value is going to be stored in value.txt. So I open this file and then I write a single line. So right line and I pass it the value. And then I can just go ahead and close it. So all right. And you could do multiple write lines to just write multiple lines in here if you want to. At this point, I have read in the value. I've taken in something from the command line. I've added it. I've got my new value calculated. And now I want to write this. So write value with the set value command. And I pass it my new total. And there we are good. So as long as I don't have any mistakes, it should just build. So I'll go ahead and build the solution. It appears to build. I'm going to go to the directory right here. Select this um, directory. Do control C. Pull up a terminal. Go to the directory. All right. So I can see right here there is an exe file. So I'm going to run adder.exe. If I run it by itself without anything, it should just crash because it's not adding anything and it's just unhappy. So I should catch the exception for um, trying to read from the arguments, but I'm not going to. So I'm going to add the number one. I run that. New total is one. If I do direct listing, I should see there is a value.txt. So you can um, see that, that's good. Um, I can now try running it again. So one plus uh, 10 should be 11. So now my initial is 11 and I add 10 more. Now it's 21 and I add 50 and it becomes 71. So now you can see it is reading and writing to that file and updating each time. All right, now you can see how to read from a file and how to write to a file.